The central bank has failed to comply with an order issued by the Presidential Commission of Inquiry. The Presidential Commission had instructed the bank to make available to former Governor Arjuna Mahindran to the Monterey Board minutes, board papers and memorandums during his tenure as Governor. The Commission reissued the order to the Monterey Board. The Commission was keen to know who prepared the footnotes in the Corp report when Chairman of Corp Sunil Handunetti provided evidence. Handunetti testified that Deputy Minister Dr. Harsha De Silva included all the footnotes in the final report in the documentation process. He said the footnotes were added as there were disagreements on certain points and thereby they were annexed to the report. The Corp Chairman said his committee considered the immediate losses calculated by the Auditor General but noted that Corp did not calculate the potential future losses. Uh, we believe that the Presidential Commission will prescribe the legal power required to enforce the recommendations of COPE. I also hope that the reports of the Presidential Commission and COPE will assist in drafting a proper framework and system for this process in order to prevent such financial losses from occurring in the future. There is a truth that has been proven in society. All that remains now is to see whether it will be proven by law. <laughs> Deputy Governor Dr. Nandalal Virasinghe was extensively questioned on the fiscal policy. Attorney at law Harsha Fernando meanwhile suggested to the witness that the private placement method was flawed. Attorney at law appearing on behalf of current Deputy Governor P. Samarasiri suggested to the witness that the public debt department had in fact quote unquote encouraged the EPF to make bids and thereby creating an artificial interest rate which in the end resulted in distorting the markets. From the Presidential Commission of Inquiry, I'm Zulfik Farzan for News First.